Hey everybody, Mad Cat here, and today I'm going to review Go Go Franklin from Franklin and Friends, where you play as Franklin on a skateboard. This is a very immense game in the sense where that there's a lot of levels and there's a lot of things to do and a lot of power-ups. Very easy game, just move Franklin with your finger, wherever you tap Franklin will go. Collect stars for points and extra time. You only get a certain amount of time to finish each race. When you see flashing circles when you're in the air, tap your screen as much as possible for a big bonus. Alright, so here's the first level, race number one. This will kind of just get into the basics of the game. Now, you'll notice right at the top that this is a very nice looking game. Uh, great animations, cool sounds, and some awesome voice acting. There's some really fun obstacles such as the tire on the tree, and the swing set that you can grind off of. <laughs> The paint cans are also an obstacle that you must avoid. Watch out for those barrels. There's a lot of fun pieces in the environment that you can play off and jump off on your skateboard. There's a swing set grind. That's my favorite move. All right. Let the race begin. Get ready, steady, go! This is an invincibility power up, so you cannot get hurt while you have the power up. So that means you can run into anything you want and you won't be slowed down or hurt. These are really fun, these big tracks, these the big loop-de-loops. That was a really fun level. Way to go! Let the race begin! Get ready, steady, go! And we're just gonna keep going on to level 4. Did I do that? So the paint cans not only slow you down, but they distract you when you hit them, and they splash and they hit the screen, and they kind of get in the way of your sight a bit. Oh, there's a big star collection there. <laughs> Going really fast on this one. That was a really fun level. And we're just going to keep trekking through here. Level 5. There's a teeter-totter. Another power-up. I'm going to get this again. And go, go, Franklin. So the further you go, and the further you progress, the, the more obstacles that you'll notice in the levels. <laughs> the recycling boxes are really fun to jump off of, and you can get some pretty big air off of them. Alright, now we're on to level 6. And grind this rail, jump over that paint can. And then the swing set grind. Lots of stuff to do already on this one. I've almost got 70 stars. 68. The park bench grind. There's a lot of fun series of jumps that are set up in each level. And you feel really good when you make the whole series of jumps. Alright, great job. Beat another level. And all your friends there are at the finish line for you. With fireworks and all. There's a really small learning curve for this game and it's fun for the whole family. 
and the game looks great through and through. Sounds really good too. I'd say this is my favorite Franklin game of all of them. Oh, here's a new obstacle. There's a big slide. <laughs> really fun. Alright, I beat that level. Let the race begin! Get ready, steady, go! Alright, we're going to race number 8 and you'll notice a big difference. It's now night time. There's a few different obstacles, and the game is getting just a little bit harder now. There's a lot of action, and the pace is picked up as well. You'll have to remember to keep moving around a bit, and don't stay in one place for too long. Oh, there's the big moon out there. Beautiful graphics. Alright, I need some speed here. I'm going to take this grind. Alright, I'm doing okay again. Recycle boxes. I think I'm almost there. Oh, another paint can I hit. Alright, I made it. Another race done. Alright, we're going to race 9. It's now daytime again. But I'm sure it won't be any easier than the last one. I got my invincibility. Jumping off the recycle box. And you'll notice too that there's some there's some new ramps here. You'll, when you see the boxes with the stars, that means that you can get an even bigger jump off of them. I was almost running out of time there, but I was able to grab some bonus time. I'm on to race 11 already, and as you've noticed, there is a lot of levels. Here's a big loop-de-loop, -loop. I've almost got 100 stars. And I'll show you what you can do with the stars a little later. Swing set grind, my favorite. Another big jump into the pile of leaves with some bonus points. So the tricks get a little bit more intricate here, and there's more and more fun things to do, but there's also more and more obstacles to avoid. The teeter-totter is really fun as well. <laughs> Yay, another one won. A big series of jumps there, and then through the loop-de-loop, -loop, past the lemonade stand. Oh, ran into some something there. And the key is to be always ready to tap Franklin to do the big jumps, the big moves, just like that succession of moves there. I've now got almost 125 stars. I'll be able to do a lot with those. And again, I'll get there. I'll show you a little bit later just what you can do with those. Okay, so I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit to level 15. Um, we're back in the nighttime setting. And again, the game's just progressively 
getting a little bit more difficult and the tracks are getting a bit longer too. But really, I just think the game gets more and more fun as you go along. And it's not a very difficult game. As the levels get higher, there's more ways to get combos. So once I beat the game, I can enter my name, I think I'm just going to put in Bob here. And it gets me my point total, and then I get a bunch of trophies. So I got Skateboard Champion, Time Traveler, Obstacle Dodger, Lightning Rod, Beginner's Luck. Uh, these were all achievements that I unlocked playing Go Go Franklin. I can then go and refer to my treasure trunk and see, if, see all my awards there. You can keep on playing Go Go Franklin to unlock all the achievements. You may not be able to collect every trophy on your first run in Go Go Franklin, so feel free to continue playing the game over and over until you do unlock them all. It always feels good when you get all those trophies, and they're pretty easy to get. This is a really fun game with a high replay value. It looks very nice, it plays well, I have no problems with it, and I would recommend this game to kids and families alike. Families will have a great time playing with their little ones with this game. Thanks everyone, this has been Mad Cat with your game review.